This segment is sponsored by Central Virginia Legal Aid Society. Many families and individuals around the country are facing eviction due to financial hardship caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The Virginia Rent Relief Program is a new initiative put in place to protect families and individuals in our community. Here to share more is Martin Wegbright, Director of Litigation at the Central Virginia Legal Aid Society. Good morning, Martin. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So we went through a period there where uh, everybody looked like it was these protections were going to run out, but they have not. The new Virginia eviction protection restores clarity and, and really does help, doesn't it? It does. And what the federal and state eviction protections do in combination is give us both the time and the money to solve the eviction problem to make sure landlords get paid in full, tenants get to stay stably housed, and we protect the public health. And by the way, the Virginia Rent Relief Program, the RRP, the RRP, I got it there, is one of the best in the nation, isn't it? It is not one of the best, it is the best. Through mid-July, we had spent more money on rent relief than any other state except Texas, which is much larger. And we had spent a greater percent of our funds, almost 30%, than any other state in the nation. And that Virginia deserves a lot of credit for doing that. That's pretty impressive. And, and we're always glad to see when Virginia does things the right way. Uh, there's a lot of money out there in rent relief uh, for both parties. But when we say both parties, we mean the renter and the, the landlord. The program started with $1.1 billion. And almost all of that is going to end up in the pockets of landlords to pay them in full and make sure that we get through this pandemic crisis. Of that $1.1 billion, more than $700 million is still unspent. And based on past expenditures, that's enough to pay rent in full for more than 115,000 tenants in Virginia. And what kind of time window are we looking at at this point? It's going to take many months to get it all done. And that's why the Virginia General Assembly in the special session that just ended, restored, clarified, and strengthened the Virginia eviction protections to now require landlords to give a 14-day notice and during the 14-day non-payment notice, apply for rent relief on behalf of tenants because it's the landlords who know who's behind in rent. That protection stays in effect until the end of June next year. It clearly will not take that long to get all of the money spent, but it could be well into the fall before all the money gets spent and all of the tenants get their balances paid. So if someone's out there watching right now, how do we get this moving along? I know that you're helping a lot, but how do we get things started? So there are two ways that rent relief applications can be made. Landlords can and are legally required to apply through the landlord portal at Virginia Housing. But if the landlord doesn't, the tenant may apply themselves through the tenant portal through the Department of Housing and Community Development. Either way, all someone has to do is to Google the phrase Virginia Rent Relief Program. And whether they are a landlord or a tenant, they will get through the right door. If they go to the wrong door, they'll be directed to the right door. But tenants need to apply for rent relief or make sure their landlord has done so on their behalf. That's step one. Wow. So this is basically really covering both sides of that coin, isn't it? Whether you're the landlord or the tenant. Oh, absolutely. This was done to assure that landlords don't suffer from the pandemic any more than tenants suffer from the pandemic. And really, landlords are getting this large amount of federal money. And other people who are owed money are not such as used car dealers or credit card companies or utility companies. So landlords are in this unique position to help their tenants help themselves and protect public health at the same time. Martin, thank you so much. You've been a big help yourself this morning. We'll share more information on our website later this afternoon. Just go to WTVR.com and that is slash VTM by early this afternoon. Please stick around. There's more Virginia this morning coming up next.